Okay, now we're going to do a chain intermittent fillet weld. And for the weld type, it's going to be a fillet weld. Right, that's a piece of a uh, square solid and a piece of square tubing. So we'll, uh, how about we do this? How about we go? Pick a weld size, quarter. Uh, why don't we go two dash eight? Two dash eight. You see that all right? Okay, so two inches is the weld length, eight inches of the, is, is the weld pitch, which means we have a space between the two of six inches. So we would make a mark, okay? Two inches. Add six. That's going to take us to eight. Okay. Add two for the weld length. Takes us to ten. Add six. That takes us to sixteen. Add two. Add six to eighteen. That's twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-four. Sorry. Okay. Add two to that. Takes us to twenty-six. Okay, we have what an inch and a half roughly left. Okay, we don't have to do anything to that. Okay, so what we can do, take the tape off, and we can transfer those lines down here. Come around the other side. Gotta scoop this around. Hopefully it doesn't work. I don't have a very long cord. Okay. Okay. Now if I'm gonna MIG weld this, okay, I know that when I MIG weld, I usually am going to go from right to left if I can. So what I would do is I would put a little tack right here because I'll be standing on this side to weld it. I'll put a little tack right here. One right here. And one right here. And I'll scoot this around over here. I'm also going to go right to left on this side. So I'll put a little tack weld right there at the end. Right there at the end. Right there at the end. And I'm gonna put one right here because when I have a weld on an end like that, I start on the end and I bring it in uh, to keep the crater out of the end of the weld. Okay, so the reason for doing this is when my helmet's up, I know where to start. Okay, when your helmet's down, as dirty as some people keep their lenses and People, you know, having too dark of shades and just uh, just uh, missing it. People will start here, they'll get to welding, and they'll run right past that line. So that little tack is going to tell you where to stop. And you can do that with all intermittent welds. Uh, you can do that with you can do that with any weld if you need a place to stop. As long as you can remember, hey, stop at the tack. So okay. Chain intermittent fillet welds.